Sir, we are actually uh, connecting to Honorable uh, Minister Pius Goelji from Undu village, which is close to 200 kilometers from Jodhpur district, sir. We are in Badmer. Today, we are working closely with farming community here in collaboration with the Spices Board, Jodhpur office, regional office, Department of Biotechnology, and the um, industry here in um, uh, Seed Spices. Uh, Honorable Minister, I would like to uh, convey our greetings to you on behalf of uh, 300 farmers that gathered today uh, who actually uh, were told about organic and integrated pest management um, cumin production system in Badmer district. Honorable Minister, Spices Board of India, Department of Biotechnology, Biotech Kisan Hub, and state government machinery, Department of Agriculture, Rajasthan State Agriculture Marketing Board and the companies like McCormick, ITC, Olam, Ned Spice, Janta Global, PJM, SRK, they're working very closely and we have actually set a very unique success story that Barmer and Jaisalmer, the two western district of Rajasthan, are producing organic and IPM cumin worth 18,000 metric ton, which is all exported from Unja in Gujarat. This is one of the most striking and fascinating, um, you know, example of how government supported program can transform a uh, farmer from high pesticide residue to a high quality, high value uh, uh, products. Honorable Minister, we are exporting close to $4.5 billion worth of spices and of which close to 900 million, million dollar of spices are seed spices. These are small seeded spices, primarily grown by very small holder farmers uh, in Western Rajasthan, uh, eight to nine dis uh, district of Western Rajasthan. Spice Board has been supporting uh, along with the Biotech Kisan Hub of the Department of Biotechnology. At this point of time, we run 100 demonstrations. Today, our program is on the demonstrations. We are showing farmer how to convert from high residue to the integrated pest management cumin, which fetched them 20 to 25% more value on market price. Honorable Minister, this is one of the biggest integrated pest management program for the country. It has not been told to many people. Big companies are buying directly. And I think it is one of the most integrated, value added integrated program that runs in Rajasthan. Sir, our farmer are located in hamlets, small hamlet. They are close to one, two, three, four, five, ten 10 kilometers. These farmers are very hardworking. They are mostly organic and IPM. I would urge you, sir, that we are distributing them bio kits. We are providing skill. We are creating knowledge among them. They are producing very good quality spices for the country. I urge you that to, to move farmer, again, to get more farmer to our IPM program, we need to give them at least 15,000 rupees per hectare subsidy for three years, sir. Companies are there to buy the IPM and organic production, but farmer has a yield penalty. And so if we can come out with a national program to support this spices farmer with, uh, you know, some funding so that we can convert them into organic and IPM program. Sir, through Spice Board, this year, not only we are doing field demonstration, very large field demonstrations, which are being reported by national and local media, but sir, we are distributing bio kits. We are telling people, farmer how you can adopt good agriculture practices, how do you adopt the sustainability model? We are enrolling many farmers. Spice Board has been served to give them new thresers, which can do primary processing. Uh, this year we have given, last year we given many thresers sir, through the Spice Board of India. And it has been, this year we are also giving farmer tarpaulin and other stuff. But sir, this new thresing machines, which have been produced in Jodhpur, can do primary processing. It add value to the farming community. And I think this particular example of the Spice Board, along with the Department of Biotechnology, is a very big example that you may uh, like to uh, tell to the global community, sir. On behalf of... Thank you, gentlemen. In the interest of shortage so of time, we would like to uh, wrap so up much. the interactive session with uh, all of you from Jodhpur. But we deeply appreciate uh, the efforts that you're putting in. We would like to move on to Srinagar. And from here on, we would like to request you to try and finish the interaction in about one minute. Uh, moving on to Srinagar.
Since Srinagar has not joined us, we will continue with Guwahati. Stakeholders from Guwahati region may please interact now. Minister. Good evening to one and all. I am Padma Sri Trinity Sayo. First of all, I am very happy to participate in today, even for celebration of Spice Boat Foundation Day, as I have been also associating with this boat since from 2003. On behalf of Northeast Farmer, I would like to thank Spice Boat is supporting to the Northeast Farmer for large cardamom, ginger, turmeric, and other spices plantations. Who's harvest management of different scheme organic farming. Spice Boat is also supporting to the Northeast farmer for direct linkage with exporter and traders for sale of raw produce, where nowadays farmers are getting better price compared to the previous year. Recently, free of course rapid testing unit of curcumin in Laskin block where we can now analyze of our curcumin at village level and immediately which is helping us for marketing of our products. Also, I would like to thank to the Spice Board that I have received by the Mastery Award because of Spice Board was given me opportunity to learn all about Lakadang turmeric organic farming. Certificate certification process and moreover, I got the opportunity to serve my poor people of my locality. Last but not the least, I request Spice Boat to continuously support to Northeast Farmer in near future and best wishes to both for future endeavor. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. And we would like to point out that uh, the speaker is also a Padma Shri Award winner, and we congratulate her for the same. Namaskar. Moving on to the final region. Congratulations. I hope the tea that you are all having over there has some good spices. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We will now move on to the final region of Gang Talk. <laughs> Namaskar, sir. Sikkim ke progressive farmers ke taraf se aapko naman, sir. Mera naam Dhan Kumar Gurung, South Rigu Bosti, East Sikkim. Main jis area se ho, jaha bada ilai chika kheti jata hota hai, sir. Main Spices, Board of Director, aur sabhi staff ko bahut bahut dhanye baat karna chata hoon, kyunki ये स्पाइसेस बोर्ड एक फैमिली जैसा काम कर रहा है हमारे गांव में आकर सर हम लोगों को ट्रेनिंग अवेयरनेस काम वगैरह देता है और एवरी ईयर सर स्कीम के बारे में बोलो तो रिप्लांटेशन नर्सरी देता है और इसके वजह से हम लोगों को सर फाइनेंशियल सपोर्ट भी मिलता है सर अगेन मैं धन्यवाद करता करना चाहता हूं हमारे पूर्वज लोग सर आ, पुराना पद्धति में काम करता था वो लोकल भट्टी में वो इलायची सुखाए करता था लेकिन स्पाइसेस बोर्ड द्वारा से हम लोगों को मोडिफाई भट्टी मिल रहा है सर उससे हमारा प्रोडक्ट भी अच्छा होता है सर मार्केट रोड रेट भी हाई है क्योंकि उसका प्रोडक्ट पिंक से इसके वजह से हम लोगों को बहुत बहुत सर फायदा होता है और एक पॉइंट सर हम लोगों को सर स्पाइस कॉम्प्लेक्स होना जरूरी है इससे हम लोगों को फायदेजनक होता है सर और इंश्योरेंस भी और सर थैंक यू वेर वेरी थैंकफुल टू हैप्पी सी यू सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच इट वाज रियली अ फ्रूटफुल डिस्कशन एंड द बोर्ड विल टेक ऑल पॉसिबल स्टेप्स फॉर एड्रेसिंग द पॉइंट्स फ्लैग्ड बाय द स्टेक होल्डर्स वी सिंसियरली अप्रिशिएट योर पार्टिसिपेशन एंड सजेशंस आई बिलीव कश्मीर रीजन हैज जस्ट जॉइंड अस वी वुड लाइक टू गो बैक टू कश्मीर फॉर अ मिनट
I believe there is some technical issue and we are unable to connect with them. So we will move, move on with the sir. program. Uh, I, afternoon, sir. I represent ABK group from Kashmir and we are the best names from Kashmir for, uh, for, for Kashmir Saffron from the Valley. From the beginning at ABK, we are focused only in selling the best Kashmir Saffron to our customers in India abroad. We have also recently started export, uh, our export-oriented processing of saffron uh, in, uh, uh, and in this connection, the Spice Board has been very helpful in educating us about the norms, policies, and requirements for export of Kashmir saffron to the world market. We are thankful to the Spice Board for their continued support, and we expect the same in future. Thank you. Thank you, sir, and we deeply appreciate your efforts in connecting and interacting with us. To mark the success saga of the board and the Indian spice sector, we have come up with a postal song with the Agriculture Insurance Company of India Limited, has come up with a novel initiative, the weather-based crop insurance scheme for small cardamom to provide coverage to the small cardamom growers from the vagaries of nature. The insurance scheme which provides individual cover and hires some insured to the growers is designed to provide relief to the farmers from weather-based risks which the small cardamom sector is prone to. The scheme will be rolled out on a pilot basis to the small cardamom growers, the success of which can facilitate expansion of the program to a larger cross-section of farmers in future. May I request the Honourable Minister to digitally release the postal stamp on Spices Board and also launch the weather-based crop insurance scheme for small cardamom. I request the respected chairman and secretary of Spices Board to display the plaque on the stage. Thank you, Juan. I would now like to take you through a short video capturing the highlights during this momentous Spices saga of 35 years. I'm <laughs> 
It has definitely been a most flavorful and colorful journey and we thank each and every one of you who are part of it. Shri Piyush Goel, the Honorable Minister of Commerce and Industry, Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution and Textiles, Government of India, is known to be a man of action and has spearheaded several initiatives for the holistic and sustainable development of our country during his stint at the helm of various ministries of the Government of India. The vision of the Honourable Minister has resulted in the Ministry of Commerce formulating various policy measures to support the stakeholders, be it exporters, growers, etc. and has led to the establishment of a stable regime for promoting trade and commerce covering all bases which has immensely benefited the Indian spice sector. Sir, the stakeholders from various parts of the country who have joined this hybrid function are looking forward to your guidance for further propelling the sector to greater heights. May I request the Honourable Minister to deliver the inaugural address. Sir, please. 
Thank you very much, Madam. Sri A.G. Thangappan, the Chairman of Spices Board. Sri D. Satyan, Secretary of the Spices Board. Sri Malay Kumar Poddar, Chairman and Managing Director, Agriculture Insurance Company of India Limited. Shri, Dr. A.B. Rema Shri, Director, Spices Board. All the other distinguished colleagues from the Spices Board and the Ministry of Commerce. All the very, very reputed and uh, well-known spice exporters from all over the country. All my dear brothers and sisters, spice farmers, who are the largest contributor to the spices ecosystem, ladies and gentlemen from all over the country, from Kashmir to Cochin, and from the border here at Jaisalmer and Barmer to Imphal and to Gangtok and Guwahati. I'm indeed extremely delighted to be a part of this hybrid program, which marks the Coral Jubilee celebrations of Spices Board, which is completing 35 glorious years today. The work that the Spices Board does was amply reflected in the comments made by several stakeholders today. And I'd like to thank all of you for your extremely kind words, recognizing the pivotal role that the Spices Board has played since its inception in promoting Indian spices all across the world. It is also a very crucial link between Indian exporters and importers all over the world, which has helped us fuel international exports. I am told the spices that all of you produce, all our exporters send out of the country, are today reaching over 180 destinations all over the world. In fact, uh, the growth of spice exports has been phenomenal. They have increased by almost 115% in volume and 84% in value in the last seven years between 2014 and 21, reaching a historic high of US dollars 4.2 billion last year. I think this has certainly helped increase the income of our annadatas, our farmers, all over the country. Friends, food without spices is like life without colors. Hindi mein kehte hai na ki khane mein thoda sa masala aur zindagi mein thoda sa rang hona hi chahiye. Tabhi to maza hai jine ka. A pinch of spices for a bunch of benefits. That's what our motto is. Spices are found in almost every aspect of our life. Starting from our morning tea. Adrak ki chai hum subhe peete hai. Ya elaichi ki chai peete hai. Kadamam tea. To cosmetic applications. Using turmeric or dental products using cloves, long, or menthol. In fact, I still remember my own marriage when in our custom, the groom and the bride separately are plastered with turmeric all over their body and the face, which is expected to make them shine or look even more, look better for the marriage festivities. I don't know, this may be a custom prevailing in many parts of the country, 
certainly in Punjab, Haryana, northern parts of India, and possibly in Jaisalmer and Barmer. Historically, with the West, was is very prominently exported, and our friends from the Northeast, uh, whether it's from Guwahati in Assam or Gangtok in Sikkim, are proud about the various organic products that they are exporting all over the world. In fact, the Naga chili of the Northeast is also very well recognized across the globe. In fact, Indian spices are used in some of the most famous food items in the world, like Mexican sauces, curry items popular in UK, the chicken biryani or tikkas that you get, the, the curries that you get all across Europe, the kawa, which is a very popular Arabic drink. In fact, we also are served kava in Kashmir. All of this, I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, makes every Indian proud of the good work and the wonderful products you are all producing. In these challenging pandemic times, the world took note of the age-old and time-tested practices of Ayurveda that involves the use of spices in medicinal products. Ayush Kwat, that combines the, the therapeutic powers of cinnamon, tulsi, dry ginger, and black pepper, and the golden milk, which is made using turmeric and pepper and other products, have become some of the most searched recipes for immunity boosting during the COVID pandemic. So deep is the association of spices with our daily lives that one cannot imagine a day without using spice in one form or the other. Ladies and gentlemen, all through the pandemic, you have kept the Indian flag of spices high and our exports have been at historic highs all through last year and I hope the current year will also set a new record. Ladies and gentlemen, over the years, India has maintained an apex position in the global spice sector as the pioneer producer, consumer, and exporter of spices and spice products, as well as a global hub in processing and value addition of spices. The Spice Board, under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, has been making proactive interventions, many of which were appreciated by the participants today, and has worked with all sections of this industry, different stakeholders, spice growers, exporters, trade promotion and regulatory bodies of importing countries, intergovernmental organizations to promote Indian spices. On this occasion, I would like to place on record my personal appreciation and the appreciation of every Indian for the leadership role that Spices Board has played and for their contribution in spearheading the evolution of Indian spice sector over the last 35 years to sustain India's leadership in this sector. In fact, right from 1987, when they started their involvement in the spices sector, when we had a very small role, about $229.9 million of export, we have grown manifold to now reaching nearly $5 billion of spices and spice product exports. There's an increasing demand for our spices such as turmeric, ginger, coriander, and cumin because of their several medicinal properties. The demand for spices has also shown significant increase in recent times. Just as the country, India, is called the pharmacy of the world due to its capacity to provide vaccines, life-saving medicines, 
we have now also made a mark in production and export of nutraceutical products which capture the immunity boosting properties of spices the ministry of commerce through the spices board is assisting exporters institutions in undertaking product development and research for deriving newer spice based products and applications in fact the spice board is leading from the front in promoting the unique flavors and spices worldwide and i believe the program is in kochi which is often touted as the spice capital of the world guntur is often called the world's biggest chili market jammu and kashmir is home to some of the most expensive spices the saffron or jafrani products delhi's khari bauli is asia's largest spice market northeast is naga chili which i talked about is one of the world's hottest chilies we heard about the organic farming that dr kuloli spoke about from far away barmer at the border at of rajasthan and we are really proud of the good work you've done and i thank you for your valuable suggestions my sister padmashri awardi from guwahati also deserves the highest accolades and appreciation for the wonderful work that our brothers and sisters of the northeast are doing to promote spices my young brother from gangtok sikkim mera aapko bahut bahut shubhkamnaye aur aashirwad ki aap apne kaam mein safal ho aur pure purvottar bharat mein pure northeast india mein organic farming ki jo sambhavnaye hain jo capacity hai jo possibilities hai उसको आप सब अच्छी तरीके से बढ़ाएं मैं चाहूंगा कि स्पाइसेस बोर्ड एक विशेष योजना लाए या कार्यक्रम करे नॉर्थ ईस्ट में भी कैसे हम बड़े पैमाने पे अपने स्पाइस ट्रेड को बढ़ावा दे सकते हैं अभी तक 26 भारत के स्पाइसेस को जीआई टैग मिल चुका है जैसे कुर्क का ग्रीन कार्डमम या मीजो जिंजर कन्याकुमारी का क्लोव वैसे ही हमको और भी ढूंढ के जितने हमारे स्पाइसेस हैं इसमें अगर और कोई संभावना है जीआई की तो उसको तुरंत कैप्चर कर लेना चाहिए आई वुड अर्ज स्पाइसेस बोर्ड टू टेक अ स्पेशल प्रोग्राम रीच आउट ऑल ओवर द कंट्री सो दैट वी डोंट लीव एनी प्रोडक्ट वेर वी हैव द एबिलिटी टू गेट जीआई टैग फॉर इंडियन ट्रेडिशनल प्रोड्यूस as the honorable prime minister shri narendra modi said and i quote during covid along with india's medicines and vaccines the world experienced the importance of our spices and kada unquote i am sure just like our grandmother used to give uh, special products dadi ma ke नुस्खे होते थे ना हल्दी दूध या दालचीनी या तुलसी की चाय ऑल ऑफ दिस आई होप वन डे विल बिकम हाउस होल्ड स्टेपल ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड हम सब में मिलके इन हमारे भारत की विरासत को भारत के ये ट्रेडिशनल प्रोडक्ट्स को दुनिया भर में प्रसिद्ध करने का काम करना चाहिए मुझे बताया गया कि टर्मरिक में खास तौर पे हल्दी में बहुत बड़ी वृद्धि हुई है पिछले साल और इस साल भी मेरा मानना है कि ऐसे वृद्धि चलती रहेगी एक बहुत प्रसिद्ध भारतीय कुक ने शेफ ने श्री विकास खन्ना ने बहुत अच्छी तरीके से कहा था इंडियन स्पाइसेस नॉट ओनली रिफ्लेक्ट आर एवोल्यूशन बट इंडिया बिलीव एंड ट्रेडिशन ऑल्सो Indian spices are today spreading the taste, color, and aroma of India all over the world. Be it MDH masala or Lizzat papad, which was started very close to my home in Mumbai, where I was born, 
or Everest masalas all have helped diversify the world's taste buds and the palate that is prominent all over the world. I would like to appreciate the Spices Board and the Agriculture Insurance Company of India for launching the innovative weather-based crop insurance scheme for the benefit of cardamom farmers today. I wish the scheme all success and would like to see you expand these benefits to a larger cross-section of farmers all over India and see how we can develop sector-specific or schemes for other products in the spice value chain. Friends, the Spices Board has enabled access to primary processing and value addition in spices through the eight spices parks set up in major production centers, Puttadi in Kerala, Sivaganga in Tamil Nadu, Guntur in Andhra Pradesh, Chindwada and Guna in Madhya Pradesh, Kota and Chodhpur in Rajasthan. And we can see the benefits of these parks for our growers, our entrepreneurs, and our exporters who have started getting better price realization. Our quality evaluation laboratory network provides analytical service to exporters and other stakeholders across the major ports of India. Presently, state-of-the-art labs are functioning from eight locations, Kochi in Kerala, Guntur in AP, Tutikurin and Chennai in Tamil Nadu, Mumbai in Maharashtra, Kandla in Gujarat, Narela near Delhi, and Kolkata in West Bengal. I would urge the board to expand the reach of the lab network to all regions of India, particularly remote areas like Kashmir and Northeast, and expand your capabilities adhering to highest standards so as to make a name for quality and efficiency of service. In fact, India is proud to have provided global leadership in developing standards, quality standards for spices. We have pioneered the efforts which resulted in formation of the Codex Committee on Spices and Culinary Herbs under the Codex Alimentarius Commission of the FAO and WHO in 2014. This committee has been chaired by India and the Spices Board serves as its secretariat. The CCSCH has successfully developed global quality standards for eight spices, black, white, and green pepper, cumin, thyme, garlic, cloves, oregano, basil, and ginger, all of which are used in a big way all over the world. It is, to my mind, now important that all of us work towards improving the quality standards that Indian spices have. I think we have significant plans to improve the export of spices through resilient and efficient programs and interventions. We have initiated collaborative efforts with various national and international agencies to promote spices. For example, we have an initiative with the STDF of the WTO and FAO for strengthening the spice value chain in India and improving market access through capacity building and innovative interventions. We, all, we are also working with the Quality Council of India for in-gap, good manufacturing, good agricultural practices certification. We also are working closely with the spice industry and international agencies like IDH and GIS of Germany on National Sustainable Spice Program. The UNDP's Accelerator Lab in India is also working on development of blockchain-enabled traceability platform for spices. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Spice Board has many digital programs to its credit, like the cloud-based live e-auction facility for small cardamom to ensure transparency and ease of doing business. The board has digitized most services and will soon make all its services online. The board has recently launched Spice Exchange India, which is the first of its kind online portal dedicated to the spices trade that uses artificial intelligence tools to enable B2B matchmaking between spice exporters and importers across the world. The portal facilitates ease of doing business as it provides a technology-linked platform for connecting Indian exporters and global buyers and is a giant leap in strengthening export transactions of spices from India. Friends, though we are a global leader in spices, we are facing certain challenges. When it comes to export in the whole raw form, we do not currently enjoy cost advantage against many countries of Asia and Africa, which means we should focus on increasing the export of value-added spice products. Also, we face a challenge in preparing our production system and manufacturing system to meet the stringent quality and food safety standards prescribed by countries across the world. Therefore, our aim should be to sustain the competitive edge of Indian spice industry and give added trust to meet stringent quality and food safety standards. Friends, all these trade barriers that are recently imposed against our products are all around quality. And unless we ensure that we maintain high quality, we impose or we make effort to transition quickly for the high quality standards that other countries have set, we will land up losing our market share. We in the ministry and the board are working actively to address these issues, but will need your support to maintain high quality. In fact, I would like to urge that we all work together as a team to maintain high quality standards so that all those who are doing adulterated or colored or harmful synthetic spices should be exposed. Please become whistleblowers because those people who are indulging in illegal or bad practices are harming all of you. Because of them, your image is getting spoiled. Because of them, India's image is suffering. I think the credibility of our spice trade and spice business can only be possible when genuine and honest farmers, honest exporters, expose all those who are indulging in bad practices, for which we are willing to set up laboratory anywhere and everywhere across the country in partnership with the Bureau of Indian Standards or FSSCI. I hope the Spices Board will expand the reach of the lab network to all regions in India to ensure that we maintain high quality standards. Secondly, we must focus on packaging and branding Indian spices. As they say, jo achha dikhta hai, wo aur bhi jada dikhta hai. Packaging is a strong, creates a lasting impression on buyers and will help promote brand India, brand equity for Indian spices. Therefore, please focus on packaging and branding and Spices Board will work with you. We can also involve the Indian Institute of Packaging to support you in these efforts. Third, I would like to suggest that we promote spice tourism. We can work with the state governments to conduct tours, tasting festivals, exhibitions,
to create awareness about Indian spices, both in India and across the world. Just like you have wine tourism, or you have cherry farms in different parts of the world. You know, in Mahabaleshwar, in Maharashtra, we used to have honey farms. I think the spice industry can also integrate with tourism industry and have conducted tours, which will expand awareness and your markets worldwide. And lastly, I'd like to suggest that we should now look at creating unicorns in the spices sector. We have many millionaires, the Guladi family, the Wadilal Bhai Shah family, or many others in the spices sector. Now we should take it to the next level. We want to see many of you, particularly our young startups, work in this sector, promote this sector, create new jobs in this sector, particularly in remote areas of the country like we saw in Barmer or Jaisalmer or in the remote areas of Gujarat and Kashmir. I think the time has come for all of us to work towards a glorious future for the spices sector. Ladies and gentlemen, before I conclude, I would like to express my condolences to the two gems we lost in recent past in the spices sector. Mahashay Dharampal of MDH Masala and Wadilal Bhai Shah of Everest Spices. They were both doyans, captains of our industry, very, very reputed, respected names in our industry. And we will miss both of them very deeply. I express our heartful thanks to the huge contribution both made to the sector, to the spices sector. Their memory will be etched always in the history of the spice development in the country. But I believe the most fitting tribute to these illustrious leaders and captains of this industry will be that we now aspire to meet our ambitious target of $10 billion of spices export, not by 2030, but maybe even faster. Can we aspire to reach it in the next five years? I think we can. Let us aspire to double our exports to $10 billion in the next five years by 2027, and then further double our exports to $10 billion in the next five years by 2032, so that in this Amrit Kal, the next 25 years of India's glorious story of independence, as we go from Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, which we are celebrating in the current year, to Azadi, and through the Azadi Ka Amrit Kal, prepare ourselves for 2047, which will be 100 years of India's independence. Spices should be one of the major items of India's export and help expand our footprint all across the world as a global leader in spices. This will help our spice farmers, our annadatas, our entrepreneurs, our young boys and girls, our startups, our exporters create value increase their incomes and help India to create lakhs and lakhs and lakhs of jobs for our young boys and girls. This should be the new vision, new India's vision, spiced with tarka, laced with spices. The world has already tasted and appreciated our Kashmiri Jafrani Pulao or our Hyderabadi Jafrani Biryani. They've already tasted Malayali chili. Now it is time that even other products from all over India, whether it is UP's Kalonji or Northeast India's Naga chili, whether it is Rajasthan's Ajwain or other products from all over the country, Terminate, 
coriander, all these products should open the world's mind and palate to India's delicious flavors. We must collectively work to make the spices sector the flag bearer of India's export and the world should recognize brand India with our delicious spices products. I wish all of you all the very best in the years to come. My compliments once again to the Spices Board. May God bless all of you with good health and good progress in the future. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Incidentally, before I, I sign off, I would have very much liked to be in Kochi in the program physically, but I have been deputed by Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi to Mumbai to receive our brothers and sisters, Indians coming from Ukraine in the first batch uh, today, uh, today evening. And therefore, I'm unable to join you, but uh, I'm sure you will all appreciate the importance of my being in Mumbai to welcome our brothers and sisters coming back from Ukraine. We as a government are extremely and most concerned about the safety, security, and safe return of all Indian nationals in Ukraine. And therefore, I'm unable to be with you today. Thank you, sir, for the enlightening words and for laying the roadmap for the Indian spice sector with a futuristic vision. Now, may I invite Dr. A.B. Ramashri, Director, Spices Board, to propose the vote of thanks. The Chief Guest of the Day, Sri Piyush Goyalji, Honorable Minister of Commerce and Industry, Consumer Affair, Food and Public Distribution and Textile, Government of India, Sri A.G. Tankapan, Chairman Spices of Spices Board India, Sri D. Satin IFS, Secretary Spices Board, Sri Stani Putan, Vice Chairman Spices Board, dignitaries from Commerce and Industry Department and other commodity boards. Then uh, my dear friends from the Spice Fraternity, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. A warm good evening to one and all present here and virtually to attend this function. It is a great privilege for me to gratitude to this celebrated occasion. This day will be remembered as a milestone in the history of Spices Board. The distinguished presence of Sri Piyush Goyalji, Honorable Minister of Commerce and Industry, Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, Textiles, Government of India, is in today's launching ceremony, in spite of his busy schedule, is the reflection of his commitment to the development of Indian spice sector. Sir, on behalf of Spices Board and Indian Spice Fraternity, I would like to place my thank, thankful gratitude for greeting, gracing this occasion uh, with your valuable words and directions. And also thank you for launching the postal stamp on spices and the weather-based insurance scheme for the farming community. Sir, we have well taken your advice to extend the laboratory facility all over India and also uh, increase the branding of Indian spices for the future, future programs. Sir, so, uh, we are also very grateful to Sri A.G. Tangapan, Chairman Spices Board Kochi for his presence and continuous support on behalf of everyone gathered here. Sir, I thank you. I would like to express my sincere thanks to Sri D. Satyanayaf, Secretary Spices Board, 
for all the support, guidance and encouragement extended for organizing this event to this Ganja. We are grateful to you, sir. We are also very grateful to Sri Stani Potten, Vice Chairman, Spices Board. Today he is being with us for uh, participating in this occasion. Thank you, sir. I take immense pleasure to extend my gratitude to the uh, Joint Secretary, Plantation Division and other dignitaries from Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Government of India for their virtual presence. Thank you, sirs. And I would like to express my sincere thanks to Siddesh Rabasubramaniam, General Manager, Agricultural Insurance Company and his team for his meticulous rolling out of a first of its kind policy in line with the actual requirement of the cardamom sector. Thank you, sir. I would like to thank all the dignitaries, invited uh, invitees present here and those who are attending the program in online for accepting our invitation and taking time off their busy schedule to be a part of this glorious event. Thank you all. And also I express my deep sense of gratitude to the service providers and the technical team of team from Ministry of Commerce and Industry for their constant effort for the successful execution of the digital launching and for organizing the event to this majesty. Thank you all. With this, I conclude my words once again. Thank you all and have a nice evening. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for your words of gratitude. During this occasion, on behalf of Spices Board, I would like to thank all the previous chairmen, board members, ministry officials, retired and serving employees, industry colleagues, farmer friends, and all other stakeholders who've been associated with the brand for the hand-holding guidance, commitment, and cooperation, which has indeed fueled this saga. Thank you all for bringing Spices Board to the crest. As we draw a curtain for today's program, I would like to once again thank the Honorable Minister, growers and exporters from across India, other dignitaries, etc. for being part of this occasion. Once again, thank you all. Have a nice evening. <laughs>